Wednesday Reflection for June 27, 2018. I'm German Gibson. Pursuing truth telling. Exodus 20, verse 16 is the watchword for today. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. One great poet said, Who steals my purse steals trash. But he who filches from me my good name robs me of that which not enriches him, yet leaves me poor indeed. These words capture the essence of the ninth commandment. In Exodus 20, God issues his Ten Commandments, the guide for everyday living. These commandments outline how we ought to relate to God and those we meet every day. It is no wonder that Jesus pointed out that the greatest commandment is to love God and love one another. Bearing false witness against our neighbor includes one, speaking falsely in any manner, by lying, equivocating, fudging the truth, and any way that we devise and design to deceive our neighbor. Two, speaking unjustly against our neighbor to the prejudice of his or her reputation. We do this by tail-bearing, backbiting, slandering, and telling lies on others. It is to slander and malign one's character by innuendos, sly insinuations, and evil suggestions. When we bear such false witness, we damage the character, credit, and reputation of others. Three, laying false charges against another and swearing to them in a court of law. This is the worst kind of bearing false witness, especially since such is punishable by law. It is to give false testimony in court. When a witness is proven to be false, his or her evidence cannot be relied on and may be thrown out. Laying false charges hurts the accuser's reputation. God's position is clear. We have an obligation to be truthful and to protect one another. One of our duties to our neighbors is not to injure their character. It gets worse when all bearing false witness is to tear down another with the goal of promoting ourselves. We witness a lot of this in all sectors and spheres of life. It is important for us to recognize that no one benefits from being a false witness, not the accuser nor the accused. The accuser may think he has won, but he has really lost. There are no winners from God's perspective. Truth-telling is an important part of a Christian's life, and care for each other should be our daily pursuit. Till next week, let's reject being a false witness, but speak the truth in love and look out for each other. Where is your sister?